Welcome to the Pull Up a Clip. Today's video is about using the present perfect tense to talk about the duration of activities and things. If you have no idea what the present perfect tense is, I urge you to watch the previous video which is about the three ways of the present perfect tense. Without further ado, let's begin. Duration. How long something has lasted. If you want to talk about something that started sometime in the past, and you just keep doing it, doing it, doing it up till now, and has been for many years, or many months, or even many days, then you have to use the present perfect tense. Present present perfect tense. This is the formula of present perfect tense. We need a subject with either have or has. Just like in the present simple tense, we use has with a third person singular subject like he. She, it, or a person's name, like Bob or John or Peter or May or Kathy. Okay. Now, as for have, we use it with all the other ones as long as it is not a third-person singular subject in front of it. And something called a verb past participle. We talked about this in a previous video. E, the past tense will be ate, and finally eaten. This is the Verb past participle, and we have to use this one in the present perfect tense. And four with the period of time, like three days, like six years, a number, and a time quantifier, like years, months, days, something like that. Since with a time marker, like yesterday, like 1985. Or even a sentence in the past tense, like when I was young, when she was little, something like that. So this is the basic pattern of the present perfect tense. Now let's start using this to answer some questions. Now let's try to answer this question: How long have you been a painter? Now, how long question? This particular question word. Is often used in the present perfect tense because present perfect tense, especially the duration aspect, is all about knowing how long somebody has done something. So, how long is a very common question word、uh, that we use in the present perfect tense, especially when talking about the duration of things. Like, how long have you been to? How long? How long have you lived here? How long have you been a manager? How long? How long? Okay. So remember this: how long we usually use it with the present perfect tense. So how long have you been a print、uh, a painter? So right now, let's pretend that I'm this person. I am sixty-five.、Uh, I'm sixty-five. Okay. So I started being a painter when I was, let's say, twelve、uh, years old, maybe. Oh, let's make it easier because my math sucks. So, fifteen years old. Okay. So, how many years exactly in between? Fifty years in between. And we know that we use four with a period of time, so it's four fifty years, right? So, my reply to this question is, I have. Remember to use verb PP. Been a painter for. Fifty years. Okay, so that's how you respond to that particular question. Of course, you might want to use the word since. All right. We talked about using since with the beginning of when this started. Okay, so with the past tense sentence, I say I was fifteen. That's when I started to paint. So since I was. Fifteen years old, so that's a sentence in the past tense. Or if you want to do the math,、uh, this year twenty twenty, and that will be fifty years ago. Wow, nineteen seventy. All right. So since nineteen seventy. So you since with either a time marker, the beginning of the event, or. A sentence in the past tense. I was 15 years old. Okay, so for is for how long you have done something. 
since is with the beginning of everything. Use it with a time marker like this one or a sentence in the past tense. Let's try to answer the next one. Let's take a look at this one. If somebody asks how long asks one, two, three, action. Let's take a look at this one. If somebody asks how long has he driven trucks? You see? Uh has with a verb past participle. This is from the word drive. The past then will be drove and finally driven. That's the verb past participle. How do we answer that? So let's say he is now, this person is now 36 and he started driving tr trucks when he was 26. 10 years in between. So it's for 10 years. So he has driven trucks for 10 years. That's how you answer this question. Okay. So for with the period of time. Now, when did he start? Of course, from here, when he was 26. So if you want to use since, is since he was 26 years old. Or do the math a little bit. 2020, 10 years ago, that would be 2010. So since 2010. Okay, so this is how you use the present perfect tense. Now, of course, you can use the present perfect tense in yes, no questions. In this case, if you want to change the sentence, rewrite the sentence into a yes, no question, very easy. How do we do that? By moving this word to the front. Because if you want to make a yes, no question or, or any other questions, all you need to do is that you need to have a helping verb or a be verb. Now, in the case of the present perfect tense, the helping verb is has or have. Okay, just move it to the front. So, if you want to change this, it turns into like this: Has he driven trucks for ten years? question mark that's it okay to answer this is a yes he has just like all the other uh, tenses no he hasn't hasn't is the combination of has not when you put them together it's hasn't when you put have not together it's haven't Okay, just like in all the other tenses. So that's how you use the present perfect tense to talk about the duration of activities or things. Now stay tuned for the next video because next time we're going to talk about and using the present perfect tense to talk about uh, our experiences. See ya. <music>